Hey guys, Golf Nerd here. I wanted to bring to everybody's attention, at least anybody who's a Mevo Plus owner, a recent update that took place with GS Pro that makes the Mevo Plus a lot more functional. Uh, I think I've spoken before on some of my videos about how the spin axis on the Mevo Plus can be a little aggressive at times. And as a result uh, of feedback from Mevo Plus owners, GS Pro has made an update and I wanted to make sure that everybody knew that it was available. So I'm just going to launch GS Pro and uh, you'll hear that lovely theme music that we've all fallen in love with. Um, but I'm going to show you exactly where the setting is, try to explain it. So you're going to need to look at this API for the flight scope and you're going to want to go to settings. So once you're in settings, you've got these advanced settings right here. And the one that was just recently added in the latest update is use flight scope offline calculation. And as you can see, I've got it checked right here. Um, what this does is it ignores the spin axis that's reported by the launch monitor and only uses the amount of offline yardage that a specific shot measures. So say for instance you hit a shot that goes five yards left of target, then it'll use that five yards left and won't necessarily use the spin axis. This has been a really big issue for a lot of Mevo Plus owners, a lot of folks reporting uh, overdraws. Um, so that's why they added this specific uh, setting. So I just wanted to bring it to everybody's attention as obviously you can also see I've got this ignore 45 degree spin axis. This is another known issue with the Mevo Plus. So if you want to use that, sometimes it'll throw in a 45 degree, degree spin axis even though the shot may not call for that. That's pretty extreme obviously. Um, but the main purpose of this was just to highlight this offline calculation. So hopefully that's, uh, that's helped some of you. Just a very brief video. If it has helped, you know, please hit the like button so other folks can find the video that might be searching for fixes like this. Um, obviously, if you haven't already, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. That's it for the Golf Nerd. Hit them long and straight, and I'll see you next time.